He was just five years old when he was killed. Logan Moangi had all the innocence you'd expect of a small child and yet became a victim of a horrifying crime. Standing on the steps of Cardiff Crown Court today, Logan's father, Ben Mwangi, paid tribute to his son. The wonderful memories I have of my son will never be tarnished. They will forever be in my heart and soul. I loved him so much, and somehow I have to live my life knowing that I will never get to see him grow up to the wonderful man I knew that he could be. Precisely what happened in the last moments of his life are known only by those who were there. Examination of his injuries, though, revealed brain trauma, internal bleeding and bruising everywhere. A pathologist said it was as though he'd been in a car crash. Yet it all happened in his own home. His mother, Ang Harrod Williamson, was today found guilty of his murder, along with her partner, John Cole, and a 14-year-old boy who cannot be named for legal reasons. If he is unconscious, he needs me. The prosecution argued the 999 call by Logan's mother, alerting police that he was missing, may have sounded heartfelt, but was, they claimed, a performance by her to save her own skin. When did you see her last? I sat him in the bed last night and I just got up for my son and he's the other one's not here. Logan! Uh, Questions were raised in court about why, when the police responded to the call, the washing machine was on. The prosecution argued it was an attempt to wash away forensic evidence. During the trial, Logan's mother claimed that an argument over a spilled drink on a stereo had escalated quickly and led to the five-year-old being punched twice in the stomach by his stepfather. They all denied murdering the little boy. But John Cole did accept that he had moved his body in a bag from their home to a nearby river in the dead of night. Cole admitted it was a disgusting thing to do and that he would pay for that. Attempts to cover up the crime in the hours following Logan's death and the subsequent web of lies and deceit that were to follow an indication of the callousness and lack of remorse shown by those convicted today. Eight months since he died and the tributes to Logan Moengi still adorn the riverbank near to where he was found. It's a sad memorial to a short life, a vivid reminder of the brutality inflicted on an innocent child. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News, Bridgend.